Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be answering this grade 8 natural sciences question from a previous question paper. We are going to be looking at the ecological pyramid that we've been given. So you are given an ecological pyramid of a certain food chain in nature. And in this particular ecological pyramid, guys, they didn't really give us the names of the organisms that are occupying each trophic level. So in our normal ecological pyramid, you'd get names of the organisms uh, occupying each trophic level. Then we indicate the trophic levels of on one side, trophic level one, two, three, and four. Then on the next side, or on the other side of the triangle of our pyramid, we indicate the feeding relationships, okay? So you would need to bring in the content knowledge of ecological pyramids that is taught in class in order for you to be able to answer this particular question. So from the letters that you're given, question 3.2.1 is asking us which letter represents the producers. So between A, B, C, and D, which letter represents the producers? That's the first part of the question. And the second part of the question is asking us, what is the main role of the producers in the food chain? Now, obviously, producers are here are at the bottom of our ecological pyramid. So that is letter D. And the main role of producers in the food chain is obviously to produce their own food during photosynthesis. So producers, the main function is to produce or make their own food, or to be specific, to produce glucose or organic food during photosynthesis. Now, how we would mark this, you'll get a mark for writing down the letter, and then you'd get the second mark for writing down the main role of the producers in the food chain. Our next question is 3.2.2. Why are there usually only a few organisms at the top of the ecological pyramid? The number of organisms um, decrease in our ecological pyramid as we go up. Okay, and the reason for that is that the organisms in each level, or in, yes, in each trophic level, um, use up most of the energy for their own life processes. So then you end up having the consumers at the top of the food chain having much less energy that is available to them. And only a few consumers can be supported because of that. All right, so in order for you to get the two marks, you would need to say the organisms in each level use most of the energy which can be about 90 percent actually use most of the energy for their own life processes so that's one mark then you continue the consumers at the top, the consumers at the top of the food pyramid. I'm running out of space. At the top of the food pyramid have much, have much less energy available to them. And only a few consumers can be supported. And only a few consumers can be supported, guys. Sorry about that. Um, what type of consumer is represented by letter C? So there is letter C. What type of consumer is that? Remember in letter D, we are having our producer. Um, in letter C, remember we are having organisms that are going to feed on the producers. So letter C can be representing primary consumers that are going to feed on um, the producers, which is letter D. You can even say happy voles. You can be specific and say these are happy voles. Or you can even have omnivores, guys, because omnivores do eat plants. 
which two letters represent carnivores. So obviously, if we are finding herbivores in letter C, we are obviously going to find carnivores in letters A and B. Which type of organism is not represented in the diagram? Decomposers, guys. Decomposers are not represented in the um, ecological pyramid that we have been given. All right, check out the next video, guys, for question four.